Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sean Park. I'm a master ceramist and a laboratory supervisor at Dr. Goldstein, Garber, and Salama in Atlanta, Georgia. Today, I'm going to share how to apply stain and glaze technique on full monolithic amber milk crown. And the stain kit that I'm going to do the demonstration with will be Noritake FC paste stain. But before we start demonstrating, I'd like to briefly explain you guys about the material. Amber mill has great natural fluorescency and fluorescency, and it will help dental technicians to achieve more lifelike restorations. Before the crystallization, it has 250 megapascal and becomes over 450 megapascal after the crystallization. Here is another great feature of Ember Mill. It has its own unique crystallization program. Depending on the high temperature, one block can be crystallized to HT, MT, LT, and MO. Higher the temperature becomes more opaque. It is a very convenient feature and you will have a lot when stocking the inventory because not like the other products, you don't need to have different types of translucent blocks. Here is an example image that the same A1 block crystallized with different level of translucency. And I chose very dark stone so we can clearly see the level of translucency. And this is with the black and white image and as you can see HT has the lowest value but MO has the highest. Okay, before we start staining, there are a couple things that we need to be prepared. First, I strongly recommend to making a stump shade dye before staining to achieve proper shade of the restoration. Second, sandblasting the entire restoration with aluminum oxide, about 10 psi or less. And lastly, soak the restoration with alcohol and use ultrasonic for about a minute and rinse with the running water. All right. For your information, the crown was milled with A1 shade block with MT crystallization and the stump dye was made with natural dye material too. And our final targeting shade today will be A2 with a little bit more translucency on the inside. And the stains that I'm going to use today will be Noritake FC paste stain. And to achieve A2 shade, I'm going to use these three stains. Cervical one, blue, and dark gray. So without any further ado, let's start staining. Okay, so very first thing that I'm going to do will be apply very thin layer of the Stain liquid. I'm going to apply cervical one from cervical to the body third or insider third. I'm gonna apply a little more stronger on the cervical and kind of spread out to the body area. For the incisor area, 
to create the translucency, I'm going to mix with uh, blue and dark gray together. And apply on the Mizio. this too and also the transition area and I'm going to use the stain liquid to evenly it down. To glaze the restoration, I'm going to use clear glaze and try to apply even and nice coat. And this will be the last step of the fabrication. Alright, here is the final crown. And this is before and after staining. And the restoration on the cast. Thank you for watching this video and I really hope that this video helped you guys. I'll see you guys next time with another video. Goodbye.